That's probably still too loud. That well, might be high. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the street. <laughs> Did I leave a tab open for this? Oh, fuck. I actually didn't. Uh, he didn't delete the tweet anyway. Shockingly. I wanted to talk about our boy, um, Doc. And his, his fun, his fun, his fun tweets. Shouldn't have to scroll too far. No, just to give you a little bit of warm up for this. This is the same dude that got people banned from Twitch because they talked about him on Twitter. The same fucking dude. <laughs> and he posts this about our, our best favorite stream in the world. Ninja. Which is man. Which is Muppet. Lol, lol. Seems like something I've been saying all along is now definitely true. This pick is priceless. Nice blurry ass picture, by the way, dog. So I guess we can start from the top. I don't even think this is an insult, so it was complimentary. His response. It's called valid criticism. I was insult. He makes himself a victim immediately, by the way, which is fan-fucking-tastic. Immediately he makes himself a victim. I was insulted for being fat and ugly out of nowhere on a random stream out of nowhere. Now, this was a stream he was a moderator of, and he showed up and shit on the game and made fun of people for watching it. So apparently that's out of nowhere, and it was random even though it was a stream he was a moderator of or whatever. My criticism of how Ninja and other top gamers dress themselves and act to attract kids to make money is not an insult. You are an idiot, and I've had enough of you, lol. Probably ban. Well, not ban. Block. We got a pineapple head. Calling someone a Muppet is not constructive criticism. Yeah, people call DSP a pedophile and he cry about that. So we can start calling them that then, I guess, right? It's all in fair. It's constructive criticism. Calling people names. I once watched one of Ninja's archive streams after saying hello and booting the, booting the game. He didn't say another word for five minutes. That's constructive criticism. That's not like a DSP stream. Why do I even have to explain this to you? Saying he acts and dressed like a Muppet to attract the attention of small children while playing a cartoony game to make money is a questionable practice? Question mark. Oh shit. It's kind of annoying to read tweets sometimes. Uh, what was I here? Sounds like valid criticism to me, but you don't actually listen to the argument. This is a person that's basically a fan of his too, by the way, so that's exciting. I don't know if he's still a Patreon, but Nick been around a while. What argument? Where are you getting small children from? He's a dude who plays the games he's like he likes and was able to be successful. All I see from you is jealousy. That's because you're blind and deaf. <laughs> That's because you're blind and deaf. I'd much rather be me than dressing up like a cartoon and make big bucks off of children as he's dressed up like fucking Bob Ross on Twitter. Sorry, that's always been the case with anyone who has done it and always been my opinion. He'd rather be him instead of dress up to make big bucks off children. He's Bob Ross on Twitter. He's a fucking cowboy on YouTube. Not YouTube, on Twitch. And uh, he Bob Ross on YouTube. So, question mark? Of course, what is all of this didn't feel? His gay little Halloween uh, costumes. His response? Halloween costumes. Now what I dress up as every day to attract kids. So thanks for proving my point. Okay, here's you dressing up outside of Halloween. He wore that hat for a Dark Souls playthrough or something too, I think. He wore it before for something else besides Sonic. He got blocked after tweeting him this, by the way. DSP blocked him and then replied to his tweet. Because that's the way adults work in life, I guess. Yes, an incredibly rare time when I did a marathon of Sonic. Congrats. You found one time out of 10 years of gameplay. The fact you can't distinguish the difference just means you're not worth my time. You're not worth my time. Step down, subhuman. Fact, you will only dress up now when you're guaranteed someone else plays pays for it first. So who exactly is the one selling out? And I retweeted this so it got a bunch of extra fucking favorites and shit. It's kind of sad because I think that did better than this original tweet. Yeah, it did. Whoops. <laughs> Which is man? Which is Muppet? Lol, lol. Seems like something people have been saying all along is now definitely true. 
Uh, and this dude posted a thing about the Twitch TOS. Yeah, it's really weird. DSP gets three people banned, and two of them banned from Twitch because they only made fun of him on Twitter. But he can make a whole tweet making fun of Ninja and nothing going to happen. Because Ninja not going to go out of his way to complain about DSP. DSP is like a fucking, like a flea compared to him. I wonder if either are 16 or in 16k debt from bad financial management rep, which is clown, which is not. <laughs> yeah, look at this authentic gamer. <laughs> God damn. Hey, I remember seeing this dude a lot on Twitter. At Twitch support, why is Dark Spadil allowed to harass the way Ninja looks? This guy is partnered on Twitch and gets money from his services. I thought you guys didn't like the support bullying. I agree. I was shook after I saw this tweet. I couldn't even go to sleep last night. The fuck was that a clip of? Another weird thing, DSP got... uh, Not permaban. Well, basically. Indefinitely suspended. Twitch already indefinitely suspended him. But he cried and they gave him three days and they moved it down to like 48 hours or some shit. But he got indefinitely suspended for making fun of a dude in his chat that had a blue beard. No, you dumb bitch! It's not struggling. Why? Horrible echo too. But he got indefinitely suspended for making fun of a dude that was in his chat for having stupid facial hair. So how the fuck this tweet about Ninja didn't get him anything? I thought Twitch cared about what you did outside the website. Man, it's almost like the terms of service are nonsense. That's crazy. But Twitch is a good website, ran by nice boys. So they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't have shady rules or anything. Just don't make fun of brown people and gay people. Then, then Twitch like you. I thought you didn't care. Pay attention to the VGAs. Kind of contradictive in my opinion. Uh, these dudes being negative. This guy monetizes depression. Ninja and makes fun of you for the way you look in a time when so many people are committing suicide for feeling ashamed of the way they look. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's kind of a good point. Yikes. Rip. Oh, god damn it. Stupid masturbation gift. 16K, Phil. Keep staying mad while that 16K is looming over your head. Reported him. Rip. Ninja, aka Cuck. Ninja fans owned. Well, of course, ninja fans owned. Well, at least he got some, I guess. Do you have any actual criticisms for the guy besides the how the way he acts on stream, performing for his audience or his choice of games? Yeah, DSP don't even fucking watch these dudes. He say ninja act like a clown because ninja look weird. He say the the same shit about PewDiePie. PewDiePie don't even have like funny funny color hair anymore. And he barely play games, if, if at all. And he still think PewDiePie is like a children's entertainer from five years ago. That's how behind he is on everything. So just because Ninja have different color hair, he think he a clown. Nigga, half the fucking website has different color hair. I can probably go to Twitch right now and barely scroll around and find, fi- find 15 fucking blue hair women and shit. Maybe even on the front page. Oh, look at all of these Mayo Americans. Hey, a brown dude. <laughs> I know we can do. <laughs> yeah, this is a Fortnite stream. This is totally a Fortnite stream. You bitch. Uh, that's totally a Fortnite stream. God damn it. Oh, Twitch. Twitch being Twitch. I need to find somebody with blue hair to make fun of. Here we go. Look at this fucking clown. Uh, maybe the lighting. We can pretend she got blue hair. She playing a kids game. All of these people trying to appeal to kids on Twitch. Should be ashamed of himself, TBH. A bunch of fucking shills. DSP is playing adult games tonight. Smash Ultimate. It's a game for grown-ups. Oh, this is like a pretty good Fortnite stream. Oh, damn it. You tricked me. What is this mic quality? How I feel about that? Your microphone too far away. 
<laughs> Unfucking real. I like how this is one of the top ones. I wonder if she in the Fortnite directory on purpose. Or if she just stayed there. <sighs> oh well. I think this might be it, be it for reading these. It's got a shit ton of replies though. Yeah, 60 replies, 49 favorites, 12 retweets. And the, the this one here got more retweets and favorites. Rip. And then he posts this other tweet. This shit was uh I saw this at three o'clock in the morning my time. So what, midnight for him? I thought he was gonna be dirt tired after his eight hour stream. He was super tired, dude. He stayed up for the next like I don't know, five, six hours. Thanks to everyone for your support during my indie stream. I know it's early to think about holiday stuff, but at least, but every last bit of contributions help. And I really appreciate people coming out and helping out as much as they did. So holiday stuff is donate. Obviously. Looking forward to smash. Smash. With all of you. Yeah, he not catering to kitties. Flailing around and making up words when he do commentary. He not catering to kids playing fucking smash. Because you don't have blue hair. You got to have blue hair, green hair, red hair, gray hair, any color hair besides whatever the shit is on. Well, <laughs> that's not his real hair. Whoops. Well, you, you get my point. Feels bad. I'm not all live yet, but you can check out my four plus hours of Smash Ultimate mode. Smash Ultimate Adventure mode here. I don't think I can watch four hours of YouTube videos in, in, next, in the next 20 minutes DSP. Don't think that's how YouTube works. Oh, well. but I'm surprised he didn't delete this. Well, this is my one video edit for the week, I guess. Hopefully enjoy the rain outside because that's the only background noise you got for this part of the video. <laughs> but our buddy DSP is uh, apparently deleted his quote unquote valid criticism of Ninja. You can scroll as much as you want to scroll, and his Muppet tweet does not exist anymore. So, of course, in typical DSP fashion, we have a midnight tweet. I think he might have posted this at midnight or 1 a.m. at his time. Six hours ago for me, and it's about to be 10 a.m. for me. All right, I owe everyone an apology. I must stop being petty about people like Ninja and others being successful. My attitude is a direct result of being at risk to lose my home. I am sorry and will do better, especially now during the holiday season. It's just wrong. First of all, he'd been petty towards people that were more successful than him for like the last five years. But he's going to pretend he's never been paid to other people and that it just started because he's going to lose his house. Well, because he might lose his house, allegedly. That's the way real life works, by the way. And that's the way 30, 36 year olds work. They have bad, bad things going on in their life. So they lash out at strangers. Now, it's funny. He uses this as ex his excuse for shitting on Ninja and all the Fortnite streamers and all of the other people that he don't even fucking watch. But that's the same thing he say I do. And that's the same thing he say other people do. Oh, people just make fun of me every day because they're jealous that I can do this for a living and I have a beautiful girlfriend. So this whole time, surprise, surprise, he was just pretty much... Oh, God damn it, DSV. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll forget all of this in a week. Don't worry. Uh, everyone's jealous of him. And then when he shit on other people, he say it's not because he's jealous. And then he posts a tweet basically saying it's because he's jealous. Congratulations, DSP. Congratulations. Let's read the replies. The only reason DSP insulted him is because he makes more money. That's the only reason he insults people more successful than him. Jealousy. Uh-oh. We got to do with a no profile picture replying. But you know what? Still don't give anybody the right to insult a person for what they look like. 
And this comes from Phil, who always talks about positivity. And he doesn't allow this in his stream from fans, but then does it himself. Stop making excuses for Phil. He never learns. I like how we don't even see the context of this. He obviously replying to another dude, but that other dude, like, fucking don't exist. Either he deleted his tweets, his account got deleted, or DSP blocked him or some shit. I don't know. Ninja didn't do or say anything to Phil. I don't care what Ninja does. He probably is a douchebag. But that, that, does that give Phil the right to insult his appearance? When in Phil's streams, he says that kind of behavior is not allowed, then turns around and does it himself. Phil's bad, man. Which is man. Which is Muppet. Lol, lol. <laughs> I'm glad you realized before things got worse for you, Ninja gonna send some hitters on him. I just hope you remember and we're not back in the same conversations in a week. Merry Christmas. Oh, God, these people. Thank you, Phil. Please don't listen to people who are throwing hate at him here. There's no reason to be hateful. Just keep trying to be better. It's Christmas. This nigga been trying to be better for like 10 years. Try to be better. Get out of here. It's fucking depression tweets. Oh, and then I love this part. A few people contacted me and made me see the error of my ways. And I really appreciate that honesty. The people that contacted him and made him realize the error of his ways got blocked. And the people that brought it up in his stream got banned. So who fucking contacted him? Did his mama send him a text message? Whatever. Because it makes me learn and grow instead of being the old stupid Phil who talked out of his ass constantly. I love where I am and what I do and just want to keep that. I mean, you just told us in a previous tweet you have a nasty attitude because you were risking, you were at risk of losing your house. You love always being at risk of losing your house because you was at risk of losing your house two years ago, too. So, all right, logical, obviously. You know damn well you're not sorry. How many times have you crapped on Ninja for no reason? You'll keep doing it. You're sorry he found out this time and you could lose your Twitch stream and per privileges for being toxic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really just because of that. It's because the fucking overlords at Twitch and all of their little weird rules and DSP scared. He know if Twitch got rid of him, he'll be shit out of luck. He'd be completely screwed. Didn't you say the same thing a few months ago when you called everyone playing State of Decay too early? Paid shills. You're a pathetic man, Phil. And honestly, I feel bad for you. I mean, it must be stressful to be so bitter about everything in life. Oh, this dude is being negative. I know what's going on. This this totally real person Twitch uh, Twitter account and is the only Twitter account. Obviously, this person is being jealous of DSP. They're jealous because they don't have two houses. That's it. That's why they're being so toxic, dude. You mean Twitch told you to knock it off with the unprovoked insults? Tune in next week for more. And yeah, pretty much. He only sorry I went through channels like Twitch support and he's scared of them and Ninja. He's clearly not sincere. Yeah, imagine if Ninja actually was petty enough to respond to something like this. Ooh. Even if Ninja was to just make one of those backhanded, uh, backhanded insults like people like to do on Twitch. Like, oh, yes, at least I don't jerk off on stream. You don't even have to name drop DSP. Just talk about jerking off on stream. He don't want, no, he don't want, he don't want them people fans to come after him. That would not be a fun time. <laughs> so who? Twitch contacted you and that scared you? How many times have you done shit like this already? You'll do it again, I'm sure. An apology means nothing. You'll do it again all the time anyway. Yeah, why he didn't apologize for shitting on me all them days in a row and calling me a criminal? <laughs> Old white man calls young black dude a criminal. Well, that's never happened before. He has the memory of a goldfish. I bet my house next week he'll go back to shitting on Ninja. Now he's going to find somebody else. He probably will, though. Maybe like by January, February. Oh, all those fucking shields that just play Fortnite. I think he literally called Fortnite the shield game. And he just fucking streamed Minecraft a couple of days ago. Oh, well. A few people contacted me and made me see the error of my ways. Equal, I will have my account terminated. I can't control my emotions. He told his Twitch contact it was his depression talking. Also, wasn't there a Patreon contributor that explained that it wasn't constructive? Oh, wait. He's blind and deaf and stupid. Cry more. Yep. You'll see that in the early part of this video because I'm going to upload this update at the end. The person was like, that's not constructive criticism. He called him blind and deaf. 
Not even 24 hours later, oh yeah, bro, I'm sorry. Tweet deleted. Forget about it. I don't care what you said about Ninja, but your fake ass apologies always brighten my day up. Keep doing you, Phil. Ugh, a few people have been telling you this since 2010. A few. But you've only reacted with hostility. I'm not talking about the trolls who tried to hurt you, but the people who were actually fans of yours. I spent too much of my time trying to let you know. Yeah, that totally worked out. The only people he listened to is people that can directly affect, affect his bank account. Those are the only ones that matter to him. You are a truly good person. Don't let anyone tell you when I tell you the opposite. Rip. I guess the NPCs, oh boy, I wonder where this dude come from. I guess the NPCs got you to retract your old comment. This PC culture is really gross. There's no such thing as hate speech when it's the opinion of one person. He is really trying to stretch this to make it something else. And he's the same people that complain about politics being put in stuff. And he literally making this like half political. What the fuck did hate speech come from? And what did PC culture come from? DSP is, DSP is the same dude that's scared to make jokes about anything because he fucking PC and he trying to, uh, <laughs> whatever. he needs to go complain somewhere else. He picked the wrong, he picked the wrong thing to use this complaint on. I think in Phil's case is more about holding him to TOS as opposed to SJW shit. People don't like seeing tears of treatment, tears of treatment. What do you even mean? Phil just made a comment mocking how his prediction came true. Don't tell me that Twitch perceives that as bullying. Ninja can't get people banned in Fortnite, but smaller streamers can't make a joke about its choice of hair color. Oh, anime picture, dude. Go watch a quarter in video.